Welcome to Memory Jogger 2 on the subject of the eight goals of a high-performing material delivery system. The goals of a well-designed material delivery system are many, and this is a list of the biggest ones, not in any particular order. Some of these goals are North Star statements that establish our direction, but may be impossible to fully achieve. So let's go through them one by one. Zero material shortages. This is a typical North Star statement. It's unlikely that an organization will ever achieve zero material shortages, except for maybe a brief moment in time. That is, however, the direction that we want to travel. Optimized storage space. The amount of inventory stored on the factory floor is directly related to the amount of floor space needed to store it. Being able to run an efficient material delivery system with less inventory will result in a dramatic reduction in the floor space required. Eliminate waste. Waste is defined as an activity that does not benefit the customer or move the product closer to the point of completion. Efficient material management has a positive impact on many of the famous seven categories of waste, including the wastes of inventory, motion, transportation, waiting, and overproduction. Improve system productivity. Notice the intentional use of the word system. It does no good for the company if efficiency improvement in one department causes a drop of efficiency in another. It's important for the material delivery process to be cognizant of this potential, since there are many opportunities to reduce material handling that will have a large negative impact on other parts of the organization. Optimize material investment or increase velocity. These two statements are mentioned together because they go hand in hand. If you want to reduce the material investment with all other factors remaining equal, there's no other way to do it than by delivering smaller quantities more frequently. The velocity of material delivery will need to increase, in other words, if you expect to build the same number of products. The formula for calculating inventory turnover is cost of goods sold divided by average inventory. Planned flexibility. The material flow system isn't infinitely flexible, but rather there's a planned level of flexibility within the system to meet changes in customer demand. Reduce manufacturing critical path time. MCT or manufacturing critical path time is the time from the launch of a product to its completion. There may be work that can be done in parallel with other work, but MCT is the longest path or the longest time through the entire value stream. A reduction in MCT is primarily a goal for the line design or manufacturing design team. But good material delivery will make or break the actual accomplishment of reduced MCT. Drive collaboration throughout the value chain. This goal is somewhat obvious, but it is that no company is an island. A close look at organizations that are leaders in material flow performance typically have strong and long-term relationships with their supply chain. The supply chain is also able to respond to pull signals instead of relying on scheduled deliveries alone. The value chain is broader than the supply chain and also incorporates other functional areas including manufacturing engineering, supply management, and operations. As we said previously with the seven rights, these eight goals should be top of mind when working on a new material flow project. They can also be used as the basis for a quick assessment of your current state in order to uncover opportunities for improvement. This concludes this memory jogger on the subject of the eight goals.